Okay. I remember what I did with Vance. Uh, Ken Prater, uh, Canvets Media for uh, Tyre. Uh, Tyre just says, uh, what's your overall assessment of where the team is in preparation for the season this year? Um, I think coach hit on it um, after the scrimmage. Um, I believe that we're taking strides. Uh, we're definitely, you know, obviously better than what we came in uh, first day camp, but I think we took a lot of strides this summer in our workouts. But I think we're we're getting where we need to be for Coastal, but um, we gotta we gotta get better each day. We still got things we gotta work on, whether it's offense, um, defense, special teams. Every phase has what they need um, and their special needs and what they need to work on to get better. How are you with working with this offensive line group? And, you know, it's a, a lot of new players this year, but some who have experience. How is it just coordinating with them, getting the timing down? Um, it's great. Um, everybody they they know what they have to do. Um, you know. That's what practice is for. People make mistakes in practice, but we have a great offensive line coach. As you know, Coach VD, he's coaching offensive line now. He's a great coach, and he's getting those guys schooled up on what they need to know. Um, I trust them. I trust the slots. I trust the receivers. I trust everybody on the team um, that they're going to do their job just as much as they trust me for me to do my job. So um, they have a great coach, um, Connor Bishop, Connor Finucane. They have great senior leadership in the room. So any of the young guys that, that need help, um, they have great leaders in that room, so I, I trust that they, you know, are doing what they need to do too. Well, uh, Coach Monko was just saying how much you've improved this year in your passing game, and certainly saw that play you made against Missouri in the bowl game last year. Uh, what have you worked on? How do, are you? Is you? How do you feel like you're more confident in your passing right now? Um, I think it's just repetitions, and then um, also I think it's just just me personally. Um, during the summer, I worked out a lot uh, with my receivers and my slide backs. Um, still got things that I need to work on, um, just being more consistent. I think that's my thing, um, just consistency, um, getting the ball where it needs to be, um, making it muscle memory, making it, you know, a habit. But um, just just continue to get repetition, staying at the practice, um, and getting with the guys to work out. Just thought about uh, your first week of school here at West Point and being a senior in the Corps. How do, how do you feel about uh, being being a senior now at West Point? Um, it's a it's a great feeling. Um, you know, you you don't want to look too far ahead, um, but it's it's a great feeling. Um, you have you know freshmen and plebes that that ask you um, questions, and it feels good to kind of be in the leadership role. Um, you know, as far as football, um, just being a senior in the team, it's it's a great sense of responsibility. Um, a lot of the, the the freshmen are looking at you for what right looks like, not just on the team, but just you know in school in life, really. So just just trying to always serve as like that example and how I carry myself, whether it's like how my hair is, um, you know, shaving, doing the right things, staying out of trouble, just doing the right things in in all facets. That's just you know, a greater responsibility that I feel that I need to accomplish. Good, Ken or Tom? What was that, sir? Yeah. Oh, okay. Guys on Zoom, you guys can start. Good afternoon, Tyre. Joe Iacono with GoBlackKnights.com. How are you doing this afternoon? Doing good, sir. How you doing? Good. Um, how would you assess your overall performance today in the scrimmage? Um, uh, I, a lot of it was, um, just operational for us. Um, so getting people in and out the huddle, um, executing the, the, the plays, um, you know, I feel like there's always room for improvement. And when we go back and watch the film, whether it's, um, a certain footwork that I didn't take or getting in and out the huddle quicker or getting in and out of a play, I feel like, um, you know, there's always, when we go back and watch the film that really tells, but I feel like I did pretty good, but it's always room for, for improvement. Yeah, something I've noticed the last couple of years, not necessarily with you, but with maybe some of the other quarterbacks, um, is a lot of times after a penalty where there's the short play clock, it seems like you guys sometimes struggle to get the playoff on time on the short play clock, and you'll go back-to-back -back penalties. Is that something you feel like you and Kate and everybody's been doing a little better job with this summer, maybe? Um, definitely. I, I feel like that's um, everybody involved. I think that's a part of, you know, getting the play in um, from Coach Davis up top. 
And I think that's a part of um, making sure we have the right personnel, making sure everybody's on the same page, making sure everybody is on the right snap count. But we put a lot of emphasis on that during camp. Um, we've been using headsets and things during camp, just making sure communication is good, um, being put in a lot of different scenarios. So we, we put a lot of emphasis on that. And um, I think, think we'll be fine throughout the year. Great. And how would you say your health is this preseason? Um, I feel good. I feel great. Um, I'm ready to go. Like it's 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 not it's no much, not much to be said. But I feel great. I'm ready to, ready to go. That's awesome. And last question for you. You know, you've got two weeks till opening day. Um, so probably about eight, eight or nine practices, maybe. Um, you know, what's the number one thing Tyre Tyler needs to focus on between now and opening day to be? ready and be a hundred percent to where you need to be against coastal um really leadership um just making sure everybody is is locked in um assignment wise doing um what they need to do because um the coaches and, and my teammates know what they're going to get out of me on game day um they know i'm going to give them my all they know i'm a you know i'm a fight to the end you know so i think it's just leadership making sure on days where we have long days at school and we have our west point days just making sure everybody is still locked in for practice and just being that leader that leader um when things get rough but the the team is locked in um everybody is is ready to go everybody's counting down their days till coastal but we still got to take it day by day. Um, so just really leadership, working on just being just being an effective leader in the locker room. That's really the biggest thing because all the football and and all the plays, they're going to be there and they're going to come. Thanks, Tyre. Yes, sir. Hey, Tyre. Ken McMillan from the Times Herald Record. How you doing, sir? Good, thank you. Uh, to uh, bounce back on uh, Kenny's question, how are you a better man, a better player now? Um, so West Point uh, does a great job of turning you from boy to man. Um, they put you in a lot of situations that make you uncomfortable. Um, I've been through a lot here at West Point personally. So, you know, without those those trials that I've been through and those setbacks I've been through, I wouldn't be the person I am today. But as far as from a football standpoint, you know, um, I've had a lot of reps. Um, I've been in a lot of big games. And, you know, we faced a lot of adversity at times. So adversity, I feel like it, it, it creates it creates a man and it reveals who you are. So I just feel like just being at West Point, just being around adversity 24-7, it, it just makes you a better man in all facets of your life, whether it's being a better son, whether it's being a better brother, um, whether it's being um, a better teammate. So I think it's I think West Point does a great job of molding boys and the men. What's the senior tire's advice to the freshman or sophomore tire? Oh man, uh, I think the biggest thing I would say is bigger than you. Uh, one thing I, I developed here um, early on, it was just like I wanted to play. I wanted to play. I'm here to play football. I'm here to play football. But as as you 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 go throughout West Point, you realize like it's bigger than you. Like you're gonna be in charge of the lives of soldiers, right? You're gonna be. You got people at home depending on you. You have your future family kind of depending on you um, to kind of pave the way to success. And then also um, that bigger than you point is is just. I personally, you know. I've been a part of great quarterback rooms, Christian Anderson, Jabari Laws. Jabari Laws is my best friend still to this day. And it doesn't matter to me, like, who's in the game. You know, who, coach is going to put whoever um, gives us the best chance to win in the game. And it's it's bigger than you because at the end of the day you want to win, but you always have to be ready. So I think it's just bigger than you, and it's not about your accolades. It's not about your success. It's not about what you want, but it's, it's, it's just bigger than you. So I would tell myself that it's, it's bigger than you. On that same front, you know, everybody wants to be the man. Mm -hmm. You want to play every snap if you had the opportunity. Just tell us about, have you come to realize that that may be not a reality or it could become the reality? Is there a maturity that has to go with that? So I think um, every day um, since we've been in camp, has been a competition. Even last year with Christian Anderson, um, it's, it's, it's always competition, right? And obviously we have certain strengths and we have certain weaknesses, but any of us in the room, whether it's Jamel, whether it's me, whether it's Kay, we all have the potential to be an every down quarterback. And that's been discussion um, here. So all of us have the potential to be um, every down quarterback, but we all have the, the, the potential to rotate in and we all know our strengths, our weaknesses and our roles. But everybody right now um, is, is, is competing, is competing to be that guy. So 
we make each other better and everybody has that that ability and that potential yeah you um I'll, let's shake off the freshman year what is the comfort for you of being a third year quarterback here um it's like like anything repetitions um make you better um it and also like the the trust in the co- the locker room goes a long way um when you when you when your guys trust you and believe in you um it, it makes you a 10 times better player but repetitions um i feel the game is slower um first first time playing versus um ETSA a couple years ago everything was super fast but the game is slower the game is slowing down watch a film with coach Worley. he's a mastermind of the game so he gives me a great picture of throughout the week of what's going to happen before it happens and nine times out of ten um like I know what's going to happen before the play especially on like option plays and replays so just the game slowing down is like the biggest thing for for um you know, me, me playing and this being my, my third year in this role. I'll tell you your last one for you. Um, I know you're talking team and Army's done well the last two years. You've gone to bowl games. So I want to ask you personally, are you satisfied with your career? And what else would you like to accomplish? Um, definitely. Like, there's always room for improvement. Um, and me personally, I've never, um, I've never played um, a whole season due to injury, unfortunately. And I still have a lot personally that I want to prove to myself um, and and just show the world. But um, my biggest thing right now is just bringing that CIC home, um, not not retaining it, not sharing it, but just bringing it home. Um, I had, uh, like I said, I had a lot of guys that I was real close to on last year's team, Cedric Cunningham, Jabari Laws, Caleb John, Julie McDuffie, and they didn't get the opportunity to get the CIC ring on their finger. Um, so just went into CIC, and just bringing that home, that, that's my biggest goal. I know it's team, but I'm not a huge personal personal guy. Like I said, it's bigger than me before. So just winning that CIC is is what I want to I want to end this this year on. But you did say just now that you wanted to prove something to yourself. Can you elaborate? Yeah, so just um just that I could, you know, one play like a whole season, just play the play the, the best of my ability. Like there's things that I need to work on. Um, Coach Munkin mentioned a few of those things that I've been working on. So just putting it all together, you know, just putting it all together and just just playing for my boys, playing for my team, and just getting that trophy back here. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Tyre. Sir. Thanks, Zoom. We're all set.